Tent finish the 2011 Daytona 500. Trevor Bain becomes the youngest winner of the Great American Race. He takes the 500 on the second green-white checker. They'll face the white flag when they come around to decide the 53rd Daytona 500. Rookie Trevor Bain in his second Sprint Cup start will lead them to the white flag with Bobby Labonte. Here comes Kurt Busch and Juan Montoya. Carl Edwards in fifth. We'll see here that 22 knows how to win from that position. That's where he won the Bud shootout from. Edwards and Gilliland down to the inside trying to. Where did that 34 come from? Try to Gilliland. spoil the party. Oh and my they God! Spoiled the party for Kurt Busch and Montoya. And here they come through turn four. Are Gilliland, they? former pole sitter of the 500. Edwards has room underneath. Now he pushes now Trevor you. Bain. It's back over. Cinderella Trevor Bain is going to win the Daytona. The 2008 Daytona 500 marked the 50th anniversary of NASCAR's crown jewel, and it did not disappoint. Tony Stewart, trying for the 10th time to win the Great American Race, was leading on the final lap. For the win. Strap down this big TV. She's going to go for a ride. Here we come. White flag. Bail lap. One to go. Woohoo! Stewart's got a great car, no question about that. It's just a matter of market. If uh, Kirk can get a little help. And down. Ryan jumped to the high side. Tony Stewart blocks him. Here comes Kyle Busch on the bottom. Uh oh, Toyota drag race okay. down the back. Toyota drag race. Teammates. Newman was trying to get help from the other blue Dodge. Now he's got it. And Toyota on the, on the inside lane. Dodge on the outside lane. Who's going to win it? It's going to come all the way to the wire. Here they go into turn three. Teammates working together. 2018, 212. 12 is going to win this race. I don't believe they can catch him back on the line. He's going to have to make it wide. Pedal, Pedal baby. Pedal. He's going to have to make it wide. It's Pedal. the Boilermaker, Ryan Newman. Ryan Newman, Roger Penske wow. win the Daytona 500. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Hello, Newman. In 2005 at Atlanta Motor Speedway, Jimmy Johnson and Greg Biffle dominated the majority of the race. But in the end, it was the 99 car of Carl Edwards finding its way to a Sprint Cup victory lane for the first time. He's going to get a run at him. He'll get one shot at turn three and four. I'm telling you, they're going to be side by side when they come to the line. It's going to be another one of those fantastic Atlanta Atlanta finishes. Johnson tries to block him. It's who can stay in the throttle here off turn four. And here they come, and I think Carl's got the advantage. He got it. He, he got it. it. He wins it. it. Carl Ruddy has won it. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. And these fans love it. Look at Carl. Watch this. Here he goes. Come on. Come on. Yes! <laughs> and that's after 500 miles of racing. <laughs> the 2005 Coca-Cola 600 had a NASCAR record 22 caution flags. After five hours of wild racing, the fans were treated to a thrilling finish as Jimmy Johnson was trying for a Charlotte three-peat. And I don't believe he can do it unless Bobby messes up. There he goes to the bottom, Daryl. They're going to be side by side off can't, you can't, Bobby's on the half side, You though. can't pass over there. There's no way. What's Clear. that? One last charge right here, man. It's all over, boys. Was that the last best here move comes made outside. too soon? Here he comes, outside, outside. Just like in Atlanta last March. Now he's not going to be able to do it, I don't think. They're side yes, by side. Here, here he comes. Here Jimmy comes. Johnson. Baby, got it in the 48 car. He did it. Three in a row, Jimmy Johnson. By two one hundredths of a second. I thought when he got beat off of turn two, it was all over. But he drove it in on the outside and won it. Boy, was that worth staying up late for or what? Uh, Incredible. In 2004, the final NASCAR race at Rockingham ended with one of the closest finishes in NASCAR history. Matt Kenseth was trying to hold off Casey Kane. Kenseth went low in one. Here Changes comes. lanes. Here comes Kane on the outside. Just can't quite man it right there off the turn two. McMurray almost hit the wall, exiting two and drops back. Yeah, he lost a lot of ground right there. Last time through three and four, though. Here they come. Kane goes to the bottom. Kane comes to the bottom. It's he gets a run. He's got a good run on him. Side by side of the line. Kenseth. Kenseth. Told you it'd be a Fomoko finish. Here it is again. Coming out of two, McMurray got a little loose and made it a two-car race. Here they come to the line. Kane got such a runoff turn four. Woo. 
baby. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The race for the checkered flag at Talladega was one of the best in the history of NASCAR on Fox. With two laps to go, it appeared to be either Ryan Newman or Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s race until Carl Edwards and Brad Keselowski made their move. Carl Edwards, white flag this time. Yeah, Carl Edwards from the back all day to the lead with one to go. Three Chevys and one Ford, and it doesn't matter now. Your friends are where you find them. And oh, hanging boy. out back, Carl Edwards. I tell you, I don't know if they can catch him. What we've seen today, two cars get that big elite run on them. I don't know that the 39 and the 88 can catch them. They're in the draft of Edwards and Keselowski. He's all over you here, just you and him. Carl Edwards restarted eighth. If that nine, if that 09 can stay hooked to the back of that 99, it's going to be hard to get him. It's going to be close right here at the line. Can Keselowski try to win it? I don't know. I don't think he can step out until he waits till the last second and picks he up the other side. Is Edwards going to oh, no. He turns him. No, no. Oh, and that no. destroyed the front end of Newman's car. No. Edwards will not make it to the flag. Oh, Brad no. Keselowski won this race. Let's take a look, Mike. Carl Edwards, he opened it up just a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think uh, this is a hard lick right into the fence. I mean, that car, that wow. looked like Bobby Allison did here in 1987. The catch fence did its job, Thank and goodness. the car did its job. Thank goodness we have the new, stronger, much stronger, safer uh, catch fences. Not sure where Carl's going. Maybe he thinks if he runs across the start-finish line, it'll count. That's what he's. It's, that's what he's doing. He's that's gonna, what he's doing. He's like a mar You know how he is. He's an athlete, a marathon runner. I want to finish the race. And he did yes, to he a did. standing ovation from the crowd. Shades of Ricky Bobby. As for our number four finish at Atlanta Motor Speedway in 2001, only three weeks after the death of the legendary Dale Earnhardt, Kevin Harvick, the man tabbed to be Earnhardt's replacement, battled one of the greats for a memorable and emotional first win. Jeff Gordon's going to give it all he's got. His turn is time. He's going to try to go down bottom. He's going to try to get down under him. Gets a good run there in the middle of three and four. They'll be coming for the white flag right here. One lap to go. The Childress team trying to go to victory lane for the second year in a row in this race. We had a photo finish here last race. We're getting ready for another one, folks. Get up off your seats. Here Gordon they go. For two in a row, trying to set them up. Gordon's going to make the big move on the inside when they get down here to turn three. Austin, slow car might be in the way. Here he comes. He's going to drive it to the bottom. Oh, Harvick's leaving a lot of bottom. Ah, oh, the slow car. Slow car. Slow car is going to be in the way. Just like a year ago. of a second. Oh, nice job. Look at this. Man. For the win. That is ever so six one thousand of a second. Is. A replay of a year ago with Dale Earnhardt and Bobby Labonte. That's an incredible finish. What a job for that young man. Folks, this is Dale Earnhardt's car and team. And Kevin Hart, the young man Richard Childress tapped, is doing a John Force down the front straight. Hey, listen to the crowd. I mean, that's, that's incredible. Look at Kevin Harvick as the fans saluted Dale with the number three on the third lap. Kevin Harvick salutes him on the way to victory lane. If I was him, I'd run that thing out of gas riding around here. What could be more fitting? What could be more special?
Number three, the 2007 Daytona 500 was a race dominated by Kurt Busch and Tony Stewart, but when they crashed into each other with under 50 laps to go, it became a survival of the fastest. Crowd favorite Mark Martin looked like he was in position to win his first Daytona 500. Here comes Harvick, the 29, Coming with Matt outside. Kenseth. Oh, Mark Coming got outside. loose. Mark, Mark got bottom. loose. And down. Harvick's getting a run off turn four. It's going to be a drag race all the way back to the start-finish line. No yeah, caution. Down, They're side down. by come side, come right Mark. to the line. Big Mark. crash. Here they come. Checkered flag. Harvick. Harvick. Kevin Harvick wins the Daytona 500. We got one car and there's still, on his roof coming across the start finish line. They're still wrecking. Warrior. They're wrecking everywhere. Boyer's on fire. Jeff Gordon's wrecked. And they Mark are Torres. still wrecking. What happens back here is Kyle Busch gets on the apron ever so slightly, gets into the 17, and it's on from there. Look at the 38 car up on top of somebody. There's a car turning over. Look at this finish. And it's a drag race to the line, and we've seen Harvick do that before. Yes, we have. You can see Harvick trying to pinch him down to keep that momentum on him. A little side draft. Get a little side draft and try to pull ahead. Watch the 07. It'll come in here from the right in the bottom lane. Clint Boyer gets slid sideways. Whammo. He'll cross the start finish line unofficially upside down in the 18th position. On fire. Joey Chitwood couldn't do that. Coming in at number two with two thousandths of a second margin of victory. Jimmy Johnson, with help from his teammate Dale Earnhardt Jr., beats Clint Boyer in a spectacular finish. You make the call. Don't forget Jimmy Johnson and Dale Jr., fifth and sixth. They are there. Which group will they go with, and will it help the children's cars, or will it help Jeff Gordon to victory lane? All bets are off. They get to the middle of the trial. Watch out, down low. Way Good down run. comes Johnson. Good run, Boyer. He's got room. They're three wide. Three by three to the line. Johnson. Maybe Jimmy Johnson. I believe he got him by an inch. Two one thousandths of a second he beat Boyer. Okay, a sixteenth of an inch. Have you ever? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, we have <laughs> never, never seen anything like that. What a finish. Watch this. Jeff Gordon watching Boyer, seeing if he can beat Boyer. Left just enough room on the inside for Johnson and Earnhardt. Right there in the trioval, it's Boyer's race. Yeah, it looks like Boyer's pulling ahead, but then all of a sudden they hit that air, that wall of air. And here comes the 48. But Darrell, the start finish line here is a thousand feet further. And look how close it is. Four wide at the wire. That is just a beautiful thing right there. Two, four, six, eight cars. So close, we can hardly capture it with our stop motion camera. There's a look at it, and there is the margin. Darlington 2003 has been selected as our greatest finish on Fox. The race will be remembered for Ricky Craven and Kurt Busch banging their way to the checkered flag. Come on, baby, come on. Side by side, two laps to go. Somebody's got to give, get into turn one. Nobody. And in the wall goes Bush. That's not, that was not a very good idea. Look at the crossover move, he got into it. Come on, clear. Good job, man. Hang in there. And here comes Blaney. Oh, Blaney oh, is oh. now the best car on the track. Oh, baby. I'm telling you, Kurt Bush is not going to give up the win. No, he's not. They'll be coming to the white flag this time. Ricky Craven's not going to give up either. Come on, Ricky. He gets that run on the high side right there. Kurt Bush is going to be struggling baby. with his race car. Here he comes. Here we go again. He's going to wait on this. He's going to put the car. That last time. White flag. Here he goes. He's going to try to slide under him here. Come on, baby. And Blaney's coming. Both these cars are driving terrible right now. Nine nah. left to go. Nah, they're driving good. Come on, baby. You can do it on this end of the speedway. Come on, four, and get up alongside of him. Half a mile Here he go. comes. Here he comes. Who's going to get off? Here he comes. Here he comes. He's got him this time. It's going to be a drag. Great pride.
up there. That's one great race. I'm going to tell you, it's the good race I've ever seen at Darling. I got to see this again. I do, too. Let's, let's watch. Coming off turn four onto the front stretch. That's about as close as it'll get right there. And this right here, I don't know what kept them both blocking them up down here in turn, two, uh, turn one, but bam, oh boy, Craven really shot out into it. It is amazing they didn't wreck after they crossed the start finish line. Darrell, if instead of Bush coming down into Craven, if he stays straight, does he beat Craven? I don't think he had any choice, Mike, because Craven came off the bottom and really slammed into him. I think they got hooked together and couldn't get apart. Look at Craven in there. Look at him fighting that steering wheel. And it's a good thing that Pontiac's got the kick out on the nose. <laughs> yeah, that was the difference. <laughs> but he wouldn't have won. Look at how close this finish is. Oh. Out there. Wow. 